So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Conda on a Linux machine. So as uh, in the previous video, I said there are multiple ways of installing Python and uh, fortunately Linux comes with Python. So if you want to install Condas on top of it, you can install that. So I'll, I'll show you how to install Condas over here. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Go to your web browser. I'll open Firefox. So before moving on, I want to tell you the Linux machine that I am using is uh, Ubuntu and the version is 22.04, the latest one as per my knowledge. I think it's not 22.04, it's 22.10. It's the latest one. It's not the, L it's not the LTS one, it's the latest one. Uh, let me show you which version of Ubuntu I am using. Okay, because there might be people who want, who might be wondering that which version I am using. So I'll show you, uh, go to downloads. I am using this one, 22.10, okay? So this one is I am using. I'll close this. Now, I'll close everything. So now, I want to show you how to install the uh, Anaconda on your Linux machine. So it's the same thing, Anaconda. Like we have to search, we have to go inside this web link. Now, here it is giving us Python 3.9, same as what we got on Windows. Now, if we download this, it'll take some time. And you can see we are getting a .sh file. Okay, let it will take some time, let it download. So the download is almost complete. It took me around like a minute. Uh, the file size is 738 MB. It's little bit heavier than what we installed on Windows. Windows was around like 600-ish, something like that. So this is my downloads folder. I hope you know where it is located, right? You come to here, then downloads, and here you have the file, right? right. So now if I open in terminal, now, uh, this is also like a fresh version of Ubuntu that I have installed, completely fresh, okay? So it's pretty simple how you, you, how you install a SH file. So it's chmod u plus x anaconda. I mean, by the way, you don't, don't have to type the whole file name. You just press tab key and it will get auto completed and just give enter and then dot slash and type a n a and you give tab and it will get complete automatically now if i press enter now it will start the installer we don't need this these are license things you can read if you want okay now what uh why it is stuck over here <laughs> Okay, I think you have to type Q. Yeah, do you accept Do you accept the license term? Okay, by the way, I pressed Q, okay, to come out. Previously, these things are not there, but suddenly I don't know why they put this thing over there. But you have to press Q and you came out. Now it is saying, do you accept the license terms? I say yes. You can tell no, it's up to you. <laughs> then you know, no Anaconda on your system and home ubuntu anaconda 3 this is the destination where it will install your, all your libraries and if we press enter and it will start installing it is extracting all the packages it should take some time So now it has done installing. Now it is very important this part. Do you wish the installer to initialize Anaconda 3 by running Conda in it and don't give no, you use yes. Okay, and now you can close. So if you come back on the desktop 
if you open in terminal you can see base over here okay now this means you are working inside the base uh, environment so anything you do that will be done on the base environment the base environment contains a lot of packages okay so it's better you create a new environment and you start working on that and these things we'll see in next uh, videos so you can see in windows we faced one issue using that command prompt okay that issue we didn't face over here in windows what happened like we we initialize the environment but still in the command prompt that base it was not coming we have to manually come and activate it but here it's done you just press yes over the last option and see you have your base ready over here so anyways so this is all that i wanted to show if this video was helpful uh, give a like and in the upcoming video i will sh I'll show you how to work with conda that doesn't matter you are working on conda on windows or on linux the rest of the things are going to be same if you face any issue do ping me in the comment section and that's it for this video i'm going to see you in an upcoming awesome video